what is up guys today's monday i worked all day yesterday i didn't film any of it i tried to focus on getting everything finished unfortunately so saturday i got the ants mounted got the bank in yesterday i made a mount for my fuse blocks um it's made out of one by one steel and angle iron so it's nice and solid um, started running amp wires stuff like that the biggest thing that got done pulled the subs out there used to be a false wall in the back to shrink the box and I had some help from my friend Adam uh, he pulled the subs out pretty much used a hacksaw jigsaw sawzall anything we could find to pull those walls out and uh, he did an awesome job so today he's gonna come in put the subwoofers back in for me right now I'm gonna continue wiring the amps to the fuse blocks and then we'll get uh, all of our wires connected to the bank put fuses in it we will wire the regulators for the alternators and uh, test alternators so let's get to it
All right, guys, so I got everything done. Um, unfortunately, I didn't film the rest of it, so this is all after the fact, but um, I'll do a quick run through and see all the work that I've done, and give you guys a quick overview. So let's start up front. Under the hood, I've got two 320 amp alternators and one stock alternator on my bracket I got from Blue Ghost alternators. I've got a four spot fuse block and there's two runs on each alternator. Go through 200 amp fuses, then those wire runs go back down along the frame. From the frame they come up through here through my conduit entrance. This keeps it insulated from the frame and the body um, so nothing shorts out. You can see I've got two four channels mounted. This one is running two six and a half inch G2 mid base drivers and then this is running two of the G2 tweeters at the moment. I've got one one ground and two positives that run along this side of the box. One ground and two positives that run to the other side of the box. Those four runs come into the top of this fuse block and I have 200 amp fuses in here and then that goes down to my positive bus bar on the 160 amp hour headway lithium bank. So we got all of our aluminum bus bars together. We put together our little case, got a sticker made, and I built this acrylic cover just in case uh, something falls down, uh, Allen wrench or a set screw or something, I put this cover on top so that nothing can drop in between the cells and arc it out. So from there, um, we've got, this is one amp, and this is another amp. So I've got 400 amp fuses in here, so that's 16, 1600 amps of fusing on this amplifier, 1600 amps of fusing on this amplifier, and all of those runs come up to dual input. So each amp, each amp has dual inputs, but I have dual inputs on top of that. So there's four positives and four negatives per amp. Um, these are DB Drive 7500s. So this is a little excessive, but um, you just want to make sure, especially when you're doing competitions, you want to make sure that all the power is making it to the amp and uh, nothing's getting overstressed. So got one amp here, one amp here. You can see the amp rack in the back. Um, everything's holding nice and tight and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. In the next video we're going to go to the first show after I finished everything out in Conroe so y'all stay tuned for that video and uh, we'll see you guys next time.